Hello friends, today we will discuss top down cracking and bottom up cracking in asphalt pavements. Bottom up cracking is quite common, but top down cracking has also been observed in recent time in several highways around the world. And complete understanding of mechanism of TDC is still not understood. Although ASTO guide on payment design includes an empirical equation to determine length of these types of cracks in a payment with number of wheel road repetitions. Top down crack initiates at the surface of the asphalt pavement and propagates to downwards with repeated traffic loading. And this figure explains the mechanism of this top down cracking. These cracks usually appear at the edge of the wheel path and some researchers believe that the top down cracking has resulted from new tire design and high tire pressure being used. The contact pressure is higher at the edge of the tire which causes shearing of the pavement surface. The crack appears at the top and it goes through the depth of the layer. You can see this bitumen score from a different angle. This is the crack at the surface and it goes down the layer. These cracks usually appear at the edge of the wheel track and this cracking is a complex phenomena combining both bending and shear induced surface tensions at or near the edge on two sides of a tire as shown here. Under each cycle of wheel loading, some localized damage occurs in the material at very minute scale due to this tensile strain. But accumulated damage due to repeated action of wheel load is not small. After a certain level of damage accumulation, top down cracking initiates at the surface and propagates downward and takes different shapes. These cracks may be longitudinal, transversal, oblique or even star shaped in block or even alligator cracking and may be found either in or out of the wheel path. This phenomenon of top down cracking is a deterioration mechanism that has been identified in temperate climate countries. Climatic conditions, traffic, aging and construction quality are the main causes for the initiation and propagation of top down crack. Top down cracks may be characterized according to location, depth, direction and speed of propagation. According to a team of researchers, initiation and progression of TDC follows three stages. The first stage consists of a single short longitudinal crack appearing just outside the wheel path. In the second stage, over the time, sister cracks develop 0.3 to 1 meter parallel to the original crack. And finally, cracking evolves into a third stage where the parallel cracks are connected via short transversal cracks. And there can be several reasons, but there are three basic views on the top down cracking mechanism. The first, high surface horizontal tensile stress due to truck tires. And here, white base tires and high deflation pressures are cited as causing the highest tensile stresses at the top surface of the layer. Age hardening of the asphalt binder resulting in high thermal stresses in the hot mix asphalt. And this is also the most likely a cause of the observed transverse cracks. And third is a low stiffness upper layer caused by high surface temperatures. In addition to these reasons, there are some more reasons like pavement temperature and temperature gradients, bitumen binder and mix aging, pavement structure, mix composition, raw materials and issues that related to the construction such as segregation of mix means the problem in the mix design. If the mix has low shear strength, then also top down cracking is likely to occur. In case of top down cracking, crack depth ranges from a few millimeter to the total thickness of the layer. Theoretically, progression stops at a 15 centimeter depth for payments with 19 centimeter bitmus layers. However, 
Deeper cracks have also been found in pavements with a higher total thickness of vitreous layers. Cracks propagate perpendicular to principal stresses. For short cracks, propagation is driven purely by tension and they progress straight down into the pavement. At intermediate depth, cracks change direction since the state of stress in the asphalt layer changes with depth. Fortunately, the top-down cracks propagate very slowly and by the time they reach the bottom of the wearing course, it is time for its renewal. And it takes about 10 years for a top-down crack to reach to the full depth of the wearing course. And therefore, these cracks can be remedied either through crack sealing, fog seal, slurry seal, microsurfacing, or if there is a large area cracked, then patch repair work can also be done. The second is bottom up cracking. In the case of bottom up cracking, the crack initiates at the bottom of the bitmus layer and propagates upward. It is just opposite to top down cracking. This is top down cracking which occurs at the edge of the wheel and this is bottom up cracking which appears at the bottom of the asphalt layer. Typically, this bottom up cracking takes place due to inadequate thickness of pavement structure. In thin pavements, the tensile stress is highest at the bottom of the HMA layer and when this stress exceeds the tensile strength of the mix, a crack appears here and with the repeated applications of wheel load, this propagates to the surface as one or more longitudinal crack. This is bottom up cracking or classical fatigue cracking and this type of cracking is one of the main failure modes in asphalt pavements. The possible causes for bottom up cracking, inadequate structural support which can be caused by a number of reasons. For example, decrease in pavement load supporting characteristics, either because of loss of base, sub-base or subgrade support. For example, due to poor drainage or spring thaw resulting in a less stiff base. Stripping on the bottom of the HMA layer is also a reason for bottom cracking. The stripped portion contributes little to prevent strength, so the effective HMA thickness decreases. Second, increase in loading, for example, more or heavier loads than in anticipated in design can also create tensile stress at the bottom of an asphalt layer, which is more than the tensile strength of the mix. Inadequate structural design, when the, asphalt, then the thickness of the pavement is not adequate to take the load, then also this type of cracks occur or poor construction, for example, inadequate compaction or poor mixed design, they are the reasons for bottom-up cracking. Now, what are possible treatments for bottom-up cracking? The remedial action for BUC usually includes providing a bituminous concrete structural overlay. If the extent of crack is moderate, it is beneficial to place a non-woven geotextile paving fabric which is continuous and has fiberglass and polyester fibers. This paving fabric is applied over the cracked lane after application of tack coat as per requirement. For better results, a composite combination of continuous fabric reinforced with geogrid can also be considered. And use of VG30 bitumen rather than rapid setting emulsion for tack coat also provides better results in waterproofing the road surface. In case of severe cracking covering the entire lane, it is recommended to remove and replace the existing bitumen cores or go for cold in place recycling. The structural strength of the cold recycled layer is considered equivalent to that of WMM and a bitumen course is required to protect the recycled cores. So friends, thank you very much. If you have any comment, suggestion, you can write in the comment box.